1313. Welcome back <laughs> to Fresh well, you Start. You have to do mic checking now. Yes, 1313. Mic check. Right. Morning, everyone. It's Sharon here. And I'm the last right? We're in our newspaper mm. segments. And, you know, yesterday was a sad day. Um, as we see in the picture of the papers, we see a picture of a grieving grandmother, Diana Brown. Kelisha's community in pain. That story is carried on page A2. The other story on the front page of the Green Estate must pay. Court awards 17 million in Mickey Hill wrongful death suit. Mm. And Lauren facing fraud charges. You see, attorney at law Michael Lauren, otherwise known as Brother Miguel, Miguel Lauren, prominent criminal defense attorney Michael Lauren last night maintained his innocence hours after he was arrested by the police on fraud related charges. He says they, are, they were really not doing any investigations or anything like that. They just wanted to arrest and charge, said of the police investigators. The Fraud Squad Unit of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division revealed that Lauren has been charged with forgery and fraudulent conversion. Scheduled to appear in the corporate area resident magistrate's court tomorrow, Lauren has indicated he will opt out of further participation in the proceedings of the West Kingston Commission of Inquiry. According to Fraud Squad investigations, the allegations centre around the sale of a house in the East Kingston community of Rockford. Right, and then give the details of the actual case. State must pay as court awards 17 million Mickey Hill wrongful death suit. A High Court judge has ordered that the state pay damages totaling more than 17 million to the estate of slain Negro businessman Frederick Mickey Hill. The award was made in the Supreme Court last December after the Attorney General's Department opted not to confess, contest pardon, liability in a wrongful death suit si filed by attorneys for Hill's widow Brenda and the Administrator General's Department. The breakdown of the award shows that 10.4 million is for post-trial loss of earnings, while 5.5 million with interest of 3% per annum from the time the suit was filed to December 19 last year is for pre-trial loss of earnings. The court also awarded special damages of $384,732 with interest of 3% per annum from December 4, 2010 to December 19 last year and $150,000 for loss of expectation of life. But the other story, as I said, was a picture of Grandma um, Dana Brown and uh, another member of the family and community in St. Thomas in Newland. Uh, there was, listeners, I want to say some, something. It's, I, I won't say it doesn't rest on my heart. It was very moving to stand there and, and look at the spot. I didn't see her body, but just to stand and see, just look at the whole circumstances and listen to what people are saying and looking back at um, recent uh, events, as, as Mr. Hone has pointed out that spot when we were there incident in his own constituency when a one 14 year old was assaulted and murdered, thrown out of the vehicle on the side of the road. We've seen what happened in Westmoreland recently. We've seen what happened in um, in St. Mary and it is said that um, Kelisha was pregnant. No, it means... In St. Mary? No, this St. Thomas. Lady in St. Thomas. St. Thomas. It means there is far more that we need to be doing as parents, guardians, to check on our children. And also we need to, those people we know in our communities and in our families, because we know the ones in our families that are causing the problem. And I raise this because, you know, as, as, as MP, I think I've, I've said this before, but I'm saying it again. Uh, one of the reasons why I had been so focused on the sexual offences bill and sexual harassment and so on is because a father raised it with me when I just become MP, Delano, and you know, you, you want to know what it is you're representing and so I call a meeting of community mm -hmm. and say, what is it are the issues that you think that I ought to be focusing on on your behalf? And one father got up and said, you know, I know I might get in trouble for this, but let me tell you something, Miss Webb. Too much under the table business at one. Too much man of trouble, like a picnic. And we must stop the carnal abuse. We have to ramp up our laws. We have to change it. We have to deal with parenting. And he was a man responsible parent. How do we address it? Though? it. Because I realize that it's, it's quite pervasive in the society. Two, there's just a complete lack of enforcement, which is a problem in Jamaica when it comes to enforcing the law. 
Yes. Um, and three, a uh, uh, find. And Sharon, I'm, I think it's everybody knows now, says that it's a secret. There are some parents who are pimping their children. Well, there's that too, right? So, we so have a multi problem. That's been problem. going on for some. Yeah. True, but you see, I think what we need to do as representatives, as legislators, law doesn't change behavior, true. You can't just mm -hmm. make the law into there in black and white. You have to lift it off. Mm -hmm. And the law comes about because you are looking at rules, regulations to determine how we how we relate to each other. Yes? Now, if we recognize that this is a problem, then we have to look at the agencies that cause a change. Where are the possible change agents? Yes. And look at the time frame within which you can do it. It's going to have to be a generational change. It's it not going to, to happen and overnight. And but you have is. to start it. But the next factor is coming across 28-year-old mothers who have children who are 14 and 13. And then they and become their 20s, and I'm they are to grandmothers themselves. themselves. And then the grandmother is is, is what uh, with the one or twenty eight. I remember the grandmother was about forty four or forty five. And I said, you know, uh, the, 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 I mean, I'm, it's it's just mind blowing. Yes, but it's not, yeah. we can't just speak about it, we just be yeah. mind blowing. Oh, we have to continue, we have to deepen the conversation. Mm -hmm. Now we have to find the means. I mean, the National Parenting Commission is in place, yeah. the Child Development Agency is in place, we have our Social Development Commission in place. Mm -hmm. These these have spheres of influence. They need to be the cooperation, the whole joined up government's yes. approach, and let's deepen that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Maybe because I had been this voice that had been there, and I'm, I'm not extolling and averted to myself, but I'm just saying, maybe because I've been um, speaking about it more, and when we're dealing with the sexual offenses, Bill, do you know how many people came to me? Do you know how many people? I'm walking in Portmore, I'm on the gas pump, I'm walking in New Kingston, I'm in Crossroads, I'm in a movie theater line, mm -hmm. and somebody's just, oh, I'm a swipe, so, 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 and the stories you hear. Uh, you hear the pain in my voice. The stories you hear. The kind of pain. One, one woman came to find me at my office. I had a private office in Kingston. I don't know how she find me, Delana, mm -hmm. but she find me there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the stories that she told me about a family member who was a senior ranking police officer who was assaulting her niece. And she said, Miss Webb, don't help me find this man because mm -hmm. my niece is still bearing the burden of pain of mm -hmm. that assault on her mm -hmm. and, and no I, this yeah. this it is not something we can leave on we can't just this is not this is not nine day wonder or yes oh it's another event these are too many things that are happening close to mm -hmm. each other right after one another yeah. when was saint mary a couple weeks ago when was west Malad? Mm -hmm. three weeks ago mm -hmm. when was here was saint thomas mm -hmm. two days ago mm -hmm. now this is not something to leave alone and I tell you something, listeners, I will keep the conversation going. We cannot facilitate, we cannot keep to turn a blind eye on those men, and there's some women too, but those men who are assaulting yeah. Yeah. our young members of our family mm -hmm. cannot do it. And I'm not saying it is family member in the St. Thomas case. I don't know. The the the, the police are, are, are continuing their investigation. We hear that there's an arrest, but I'm saying there's too much that's happening. We must, we must find the means of changing this cycle of pain.